hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is gonna be about who is trying to tap into your energy who's trying to tap into your energy so we're going to be using the radiant wise spirit tarot for the card selections okay so who's trying to tap into your energy so let's find out who's trying to tap into your energy who's trying to tap into your energy so pile number one we have the knight of wands Pile number two, we have the Hermit. And then pile number three, we have the Knight of Swords, okay? So pile number one, the Knight of Wands. Pile number two, the Hermit. And pile number three, we have the Knight of Swords, okay? So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find a timestamp in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi pal one, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the Knight of Wands. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one, if you would like to know the decks that I'm using today, I'll be listing them in the description box below, okay? So let's get started. Let's find out who's trying to tap into your energy. So this person who's trying to tap into your energy could be somebody who is flighty, okay? Um, they could be like a player with a knight of wands. They're very like in and out. This person is like, um, I'm getting like a cocky vibe from them with the knight of wands. It could be a fire sign. They could be very um, impulsive as well. Who's trying to tap into your energy? We have the Wheel of Fortune. This person, I feel like they're trying to get lucky with you. We have the Hierophant. This person could be a Taurus. So this person could be in the public eye. We have the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like this is somebody that you, you know. We have the Three of Wands. Yeah, this person is planning on, they're planning something. We have Temperance. I feel like they've been trying to tap into your energy for a while now with the Temperance card. They've been patiently waiting for the right moment to come towards you with the Three of Wands. I feel like this person wants to come towards you and offer you something. We have the we, the Ten of Pentacles, but it's in reverse. So maybe this person is going through some sort of financial struggle. Yeah, we have the Devil. I feel like this person is obsessed with you with the Devil here. Who's trying to tap into your energy? We have the Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past that you may have cut off. Because I'm getting like a vibe where you cut off this person. This person is trying to manifest you back into their world. But I feel like this person is doing it so in a wrong way with the devil here. We have the Ten of Cups. So it could have been somebody that you were in a relationship with with the Ten of Cups. Because there's like a couple with a child in the in the card and we have six of cups as well which represents like you know family as well or like a child or somebody that you know from the past yeah this person maybe put you in some sort of competition with the five of wands and we have the eight of pentacles so this person has a lot of skills has a lot of talent okay they're like, I'm really getting, this is somebody who's talented okay they may be obsessed with their job maybe they're obsessed with their work or like they're, I'm really getting like this person is dedicated, invested in like your energy. Okay. This person is invested in tapping into your energy. We have the five of wands, which represents conflict. And we have the six of swords. So you definitely walked away from this person. I'm really getting like, you know who this is. And this is somebody that you walked away from because maybe they had like player energy. Okay. We have six of swords. 
yeah i'm definitely getting like you walked away from this person because maybe they had you in like competition for their attention and now that you no longer want it this person's trying now trying to tap into your energy to find out like how they can get back yeah we have eight of swords this person is trapped in fear i'm getting here with the eight of swords they don't know what to do because i feel like you cut them off and i feel like this person is obsessing over you as well they're trying to like basically tap into your energy to like fill you out like figure out how you're feeling about them some of them they, i'm getting like they may be like doing tarot readings on you getting tarot reading done on you as well but i'm really getting a, a obsessive energy from this person i feel like financially they're not doing well with the ten of uh ten of pentacles in reverse who's trying to tap into your energy wow we have the six of cups again somebody from your past who's trying to tap into your energy yeah we have the nine of cups this person is selfish with the nine of cups okay they see you as wish fulfillment but i don't think that you feel like their wish fulfillment yeah we have the four of cups this person could be a water sign but with the four of cups they feel like it's a missed opportunity with you because they're playing games i feel like this person's a player with the knight of wands they play a lot of games mind games wow we have the page of swords so this person may be gossiping slandering your name behind your back but they're definitely watching you like obsessively i'm getting who's trying to tap into your energy there's a card i flipped over yeah you see the eight of swords again this person feels trapped they don't know what to do because you don't want to talk to them anymore yeah, we have the yeah, they're a player with the knight uh, with the king of wands. This person is like I feel like they look good, so they feel like their looks could get them whoever they want. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be like somebody that you may have had like some sort of like connection with. Yeah, they're doing this in the dark, okay? It's like I heard smoke and mirrors. Yeah, something has been illuminated to you though. Even though the moon is here, that's like hidden okay something that's being hidden but something was illuminated this person could be a leo i'm getting like this person likes a lot of attention they like to have all eyes on them they like i'm really getting the center of attention they like that yeah we have the queen of pentacles because the um hair font is here maybe this person was already in a relationship and they try to put you in a third party wow we have too many people here we have the queen of cups too uh-uh this person had a lot of people around them. Yeah, this is why we had, wow, we see the two, the king of cups and we have the ace of pentacles. We did see the five of wands, which is competition and conflict. So maybe this person had you in some sort of competition or a conflict for their attention. And definitely there's more than one person here. I don't feel like all of them are trying to tap into your energy, but they're, they're all involved in this connection. Like there's more than one person in here. We have too many people here. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Cups, King of Cups, and the King of Wands. That's, that's like four people here. And they're all like, I don't feel like all of them are tra trying to tap into your energy, but they're all involved in this connection. So the Five of Wands is like conflict of interest, competition, okay? Fighting. So I feel like this person had you on some sort of competition. And now that you walked away, they feel like it's a missed opportunity. Yeah, we have joyfulness. Who's trying to tap into your energy? We have a letter. This person wants to write to you or they want to talk to you. They want to send you a DM because I feel like they're, they're unable. Yeah, we have friend. Some of you could be a friend that you cut off. Maybe they, they picked other people over you. We have service, but that wants to come out in reverse. We have servant, but we have servant in reverse. This is not like... Okay, that's like kind of like slave to me <laughs> in reverse. This person had you in an like, unfavorable position. Yeah, this person wants to reunite with you. Yeah, you see with the servant in reverse, I'm getting like this person had you like doing more than they were like doing for you. Okay, like you felt like, you know, you were giving more of yourself to this person than they were giving to you. You were more of a service to this person. Like I'm really getting like slave energy. Like this person may be trying to treat you like a slave. Like, you know, they own you or something. Like you were beneath them. Who 
who's trying to tap into your energy who's trying to tap into your energy we have wedding yeah this person could have been married or like in a committed relationship here yeah i'm really getting that vibe that this person was committed to someone else and they try to like have you like a side piece okay this person has like a flighty energy definitely flighty and now they feel like it's a missed opportunity with you because you pulled your energy away and now they're trying to tap into it to figure out like you know they're trying to test the waters to see like where you're at you know fill you in where you're at to see like you know if you still care about them but i feel like they're unable to do it like you're you block this person energetically as well energetically wow it can't even speak yeah you definitely cut off this person and they feel trapped so we're going to be using my um, tarot word decks that i created to find out a little bit more of who this person might be like clues okay so who's trying to tap into your energy Who's trying to tap into your energy? Okay. Okay, we have South America. So this person could be of Latin descent. We have Cancer. This person could be a Cancer. Yeah. We have Tall. This person could be Tall. We have Talent. Yeah, this person has Talent. Okay, because we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this person is very talented. Okay, but this is just a player. We have Taurus. This person could be a Taurus because we have the hair font here and we have honest honesty. But I don't feel like this is their energy. I feel like this is more your energy. Like they feel like you're honest. We have elegant. So this person may be really good looking. They dress really nice with the king of wands. Yeah, they may dress really nice. Okay. We have sex addict and we have dimples. Yeah, this person may be a sex addict, you know. And we have red hair so this person may have red hair or you have red hair they have dimples yeah this person's good looking i'm really getting like a good looking person here okay we have taurus we have cancer okay this person looks really nice they're tall handsome okay elegant they dress really nice i was getting that vibe from this person they dress really nice so it's easy for them to get attention or it's easy for them to get laid i'm getting here and they have a sex addiction Maybe they're trying to like also tap into your energy by, you know, mm, I heard like masturbating to your pictures or something. Trying to tap into your energy and it's not working. That's why they're in the Eight of Swords energy. So we're going to be using my initials to find out a little bit more of who this person might be. They don't have to be from South America, but if they are, they could be like Colombian. They could be Peruvian, Brazilian, okay, Chilean. From Ecuador as well I heard Ecuador as well so we have E X F U C double D O O F sorry about that guys we have A Q K D E I A F F again P N K G G and U okay so that's all I have for you my pal number one I hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So pal number two, you picked the Hermit card. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So, pal number two, if you would like to know the decks that I'm using today, I will be listing them in the description box below, okay? So let's get started. 
So pile number two, who's trying to tap into your energy? So I'm getting this person could be a Virgo or you could be the Virgo here. This is somebody who likes to spend a lot of time alone. They could be like um, somebody who is an introvert. Okay. Um, this is somebody who's also health conscious here with the hermit energy. But I'm really getting like somebody who likes to spend a lot of time alone, okay? This could have been somebody that you ghosted as well. Wow, Hermit again. We have the Six of Wands. So definitely Virgo energy. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Six of Wands as well. This person could be in the spotlight. They could be like um, a spiritualist as well. They could be a tarot reader. We have the Five of Wands. Yeah, we have the four of wands, three of wands, a lot of fire here. So this person could be like a Virgo sun and then a fire sign like uh, as moon sign or a rising sign. But I'm getting like this person is in the spotlight as well. There's six of wands. They're highly celebrated here. We have the three of wands. This person has like is like a visionary as well. They're not afraid of competition with the five of wands. OK, they're not afraid to stand their ground. But I'm really getting like, yeah, this is somebody who likes to spend a lot of time alone. I keep getting that. We have the three of cups, the two of cups. Ooh. Okay. This person could be in a relationship too. We have the seven of wands. This person is guarded. I feel like this person may have like a crush on you. We have the three of swords and we have the five of swords. So five of sources like conflict, okay, uh, being feeling defeated because you see how this person looks like they're defeated, but this person does not look happy as well, okay? They look sad. If you look at the card, they don't look happy and this person feels defeated. But this person's heartbroken about a relationship. I feel like this is somebody who wanted to be in a relationship with you. They may have asked you out and you rejected them for some of you, but this person is on the fence here. Yeah, this is somebody that you may have walked away from with the Eight of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So maybe this person is trying to offer you some sort of commitment or maybe it could also be somebody who tried to be, um, not to be in a relationship, but could be in um, partnership because the Two of Cups does not always have to be relationship. It could be partnership. Maybe there's somebody who trying to collaborate with you and you rejected them. Yeah, I feel like you rejected this person. We have the chariot, cancer energy, and we have the star, but it's in reverse. So this person could be an Aquarius or you're the Aquarius here. Something like, yeah, this person feels wounded. Or maybe like, yeah, I feel like you don't trust this person. You may know who this person is. I'm getting like, yeah, I feel like you know this person. But like you may not know them in a personal level. This is somebody I feel like you rejected because the three of swords could represent rejection. I feel like this person wanted to collaborate with you in some sort of way. And now that you rejected this person, they feel some type of way about it. Okay, because I feel like this person is highly celebrated, but maybe you did not like their vibe. Okay, maybe you didn't like this person's vibe because there's something here that's like stopping you from going towards them. And we have seven of wands. This is defensive energy, blocking energy. Okay, I feel like you block, you also block this person too. And they're trying to tap into your, your energy to figure out like a way to get back into your good grace or yeah, I'm really getting like, yeah, they're determined here with the chariot coming out twice. This person could be a cancer, double cancer, or you're the cancer here. Yeah, like I said, this person feels wounded. I felt that. They feel some type of way about you rejecting them. Yeah, you walked away. Eight of cups again. There's double energy here. What do we have? Yeah, you're not looking back to them with the six of cups in reverse. We have temperance here. Yeah, this person definitely wants to collaborate with you. This is why they're trying to tap into your energy because they're trying to see like what is it about them that made you not want to deal with them because I feel like you definitely walked away from this person. You're not, I'm really getting like you're not feeling their vibe. We have the Knight 
a sword so maybe they came on to you too quickly or too um, abruptly yeah they feel burdened by the fact that you rejected them who's trying to tap into your energy we have the four of wands again maybe this person is married and this is the reason why you you didn't want to deal with them mm -mm. yeah this energy there's something off with this person yeah we have the ten of pentacles yeah this person could be like a business owner okay they may own a business but i feel like they're burdened by responsibilities as well okay i'm really getting this person is highly celebrated people look up to this person however you don't there's something like i feel like there's something off with this person they may come off like you know very helpful with the hermit here you know but there is something like about this person that made you like be hesitant towards them okay they want to, they want to have a partnership with you they definitely do but you're you're not trying to do that you see reunion this person is trying to reunite with you again because you walked away from them we have lord yeah i'm really getting like this person maybe a business owner with lord we have prison and pleasure seeker yeah this person may be a pleasure seeker yeah i'm telling you they've come off as like being trustworthy a people person okay i'm really getting this person comes out as a people person that likes to help the community but deep down inside they have like a hidden agenda who's trying to tap into your energy we have malady yeah you see something i was getting something is off with them malady is sickness this person may be sick they may be going through something we have priests yeah that's what i was getting this person is highly celebrated but we have faithfulness i feel like this is your energy not their this person's energy they see how faithful you are to your like your goals and your dreams we have uh, joyfulness it could have been uh, somebody that you celebrated with at one point because four of wands could represent celebration okay collaboration you know unity because four is all about stability. So I feel like this person at one point, you um, celebrated this person. Yeah, they're all in their head thoughts. Yeah, at one point you celebrated this person. You, ha you held them in high regards because we have the six of wands. I feel at one point you did, but something happened. They did something that made you change your mind about them and you walked away. And I'm really getting like this person now is trying to tap into your energy to see if there's a way to get back into your good grace. This is what I'm getting here. Who's trying to tap into your energy? We have a servant. Yeah, this person could have been like, I heard a man of God. So this person could be religious. We have room. Okay, yeah, they did something off, like, you know, something was off about this person's energy, and I could feel it. I, don't, I feel like this person's trying to hide it, too, but there's something off about them. I'm really getting, like, they're trying to act like they're, yeah, that they're men of God, that they're highly, yeah, there's something wrong with them. So um, we're going to be using my tarot decks that I've created to get a little bit more information on who this person might be. Okay, so we're going to smudge the cards. Yeah, like I'm just getting an off energy. You see, malady, it could be like um, like physical illness, okay, that they're trying to hide. But like it could be like something that's, yeah, transmitted. We have lovers. Well, lover. Maybe this person that has a lover. Like I said, the two of cups is here. Who's trying to tap into... We have don't leave me, friend zone. Yeah, you friend zone this person. This is somebody that I wanted to be in a connection with you, but they had someone else. Like this could also be like, I heard relationship coach. We have Sagittarius and Sagittarius is here. Temperance is here. So definitely could be a Sagittarius. We have sex addict, wow. Yeah, you see, I knew something was off with this person. I felt it, but I didn't know what it was. Like this person was like trying to hide it, you know, they're trying to block the energy, but I knew something was off. Sex addict. This person is a sex addict. And you maybe have felt that. And we have Gemini. 
So we have Sagittarius and Gemini. So this is like opposite energies. Yeah, this person's telling you don't leave me, but you already walked away. You friend zoned them. Like maybe you didn't even friend zone them. You probably blocked them too. Home body. Yeah, this is like Hermit energy that likes to stay home. Who's trying to tap into your energy? Who's trying to tap into your energy? That's too many cards. Just one. Yes. So Africa, so this person could be African descent, so Congolese, Nigerian, okay, Ghanaian, I'm getting. This person could also be uh, Egyptian, Moroccan, Algerian, I heard Somalian too, or Djiboutian, okay, those are like all African countries. They don't have to be, but I'm getting like they could be African, okay? So we're going to be using my um, initials to find out like just a little bit more about this person. So let's find out. So who's trying to tap into your energy? Who's trying to tap into your energy? So we have G, um, N, W, O, V, W again, E, L, triple O, C, D, this person may like music, A, well we have quadruple A, we have S, S again, B, V, L, U, W, U again, I, Y, F, J, V, V again, and N. Okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the Knight of Swords. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three. If you would like to know the decks that I'm using today, I will be listing them in the description box, the description box below. Wow, I can't even speak. Ooh wee. So let's get started. Who's trying to tap into your energy? So this person could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This person, oh, we have the magician here. And we have the Knight of Wands. This person could be um, flighty. They're wishy-washy, I'm getting. Seven of Wands. I feel like you blocked this person. I feel like this also, this person could be a Gemini or a Virgo or a Libra or a Cancer, okay? But I'm getting like this person is impulsive. This is somebody who's impulsive, who like doesn't think before they speak with the Knight of Swords. They may be sharp with their words. With the Seven of Wands, I feel like you're defensive towards this person. You may have blocked this person as well. With the Magician here, I feel like this person may be emotionally manipulative. I don't know why I said emotionally, because the Magician does not really represent emotions. It's mostly like um, mental because it's mercurial energy, mercury, planet of communication. So we have the four of wands, four of pentacles, sorry. We have the knight of cups. Yeah, we have a lot of knights here. This person is like a little bit Im immature. Yeah, very immature. Impulsive too. I feel like they're a liar. 
with the Knight of Cups. Like they they talk a lot, but they don't really they don't they can't really back it up. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, I feel like this is like more your energy. Like you're more stable. You're more generous than this person, and this person feels like. They want to tap into your energy to manifest from you. I'm getting like this person's trying to tap into your energy to manifest off of you. Okay, with the magician here. This is somebody that you walked away from. We have the three of pentacles. So maybe this is somebody that you used to work with or maybe this person had you in a third party situation. Yeah, you walked away from this person, okay? We have the page of swords and we have the tower. Something happened unexpectedly that made you cut off this person and we have the page of swords this person is watching you gossiping i feel like they're stalking you on social media as well like they're like yeah they're really using your energy i'm getting like this person's trying to use your energy tap into your energy in order to manifest with the magician here because they're unable to manifest on their own we have the nine of pentacles so this person could be single but i'm not getting that they're they're abundant here I just feel like this person is single they may come off as abundant like you know they're f flossing online flashing online like they got money but they don't i'm really getting this person doesn't really have money like that they're just pretending pretending for like you know flexing for the gram this is what i'm getting here this person's flexing yeah we have the nine of cups they're selfish I'm getting like a selfish energy from them we have the sun we have the moon and we have the page of swords again yeah definitely spying on you gossiping about you we have the knight of swords again okay this person is impulsive they do things without thinking and like when it's already said and done it's like already too late to apologize okay like this is what i'm getting from this person Who's trying to tap into your energy? Yeah, this person's wounded. I feel like their ego is bruised. Yeah, they have an ego problem. They feel like they're above others, okay? Because I saw the Nine of Cups and the, the rooster on it. This person's cocky. Yeah, the Three of Wands is like planning. Yeah, we have the Empress. I feel like this is your energy. They see you in the Empress energy. Able to manifest on your own without them. I don't feel like this is a lover, an ex-lover. I could, I feel like this is more somebody that you rejected because maybe they came onto you too strong with the Knight of Swords coming out twice. You know, they were seeing things out of their ass. I'm getting, you know, like they're just like talking ish, but they can't really back it up. You know, they're just running their mouth. Yeah, I'm getting like, yeah, this person likes attention with the Six of Wands. They like a lot of attention. They like to have all eyes on them. This person could also be in the public eye as well, but I feel like they're fronting, like they're not like they're not really who they say they are, okay? How they present themselves online is not really who they are offline. It's like totally somebody totally different. And this person is like really pretending. I'm really getting like the six of wands, they're pretending. Okay, just like I said, they're doing this for the gram. We have the world here. Yeah, some cycle has ended in this person's life. Like I said, they're trying to manifest off of you. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is like, you know, financial stability, you know, somebody who owns a business, who runs a business. I feel like their business is collapsing and your business is rising. And this person is trying to tap off, like, you know, really tap into your energy. To, I'm really getting this person's using your energy to manifest, but it's not working. It's really not working, okay? They're being exposed for this or something like that with the sun here and they're watching you because they're, I feel like the 10 of pentacles, this is your energy, you're manifesting, you're abundant here, okay? You're able to manifest on your own without using other people's energy to manifest. This person can't. They have to tap into other people's energy in order to manifest and it's not working when they're trying to do that with you, okay? We have pleasure seeker. Yeah, this person's a pleasure seeker. Like I said, they're selfish. Who's trying to tap into your energy? We have child, consolation. This person wants to reconcile with you. 
Maybe this person has a child or a baby on the way. Who's trying to reconcile with you? What? What did I just say? Who's trying to reconcile with you? This person's trying to reconcile with you. <laughs> Damn. Who's trying to tap into your energy? We have sweetheart. Yeah, this person may have a mistress with the sweetheart card. Okay. Who's trying to tap into your energy? I'm getting like, yeah, I'm getting like this person may have like a baby on the way or something. We have a house. Yeah, this person has something on the way. Frivolity. This person is like very flighty because the butterfly is flighty like you can't catch a butterfly it's always on like on the go it's always free it's always loose you know it doesn't want to be tied down so this person doesn't want to be tied down but i feel like they are burdened with some sort of responsibility they may have a child on the way okay who's trying to tap into your energy my pal number three who's trying to tap into your energy we have merchant and then we have thief you see i told you i knew it this person's a thief like they're trying to steal your energy this is why they're tapping into your energy they want to do that in order to manifest because i'm getting this person cannot manifest on their own we have merchant here so this person may have a business and it's not flourishing like yours they're watching you this person is definitely keeping tabs on you with the page of sword coming out twice they're watching you heavy like a hawk i'm getting here and we see thief this person's a thief they're trying to steal from you and they're trying to tap into your energy to drain you. I'm really getting this person cannot manifest on their own. They only manifest through draining others, you know? Maybe they do black magic as well because we have the magician here. So we're going to be using my tarot decks that I created with words to find out a little bit more who, who this person might be, like for confirmation. So who's trying to tap into your energy? Yeah, this person is definitely a thief here. Who's trying to tap into your energy? Who's trying to tap into your energy? Who's trying to tap into your energy? What do we have? Don't leave me. But you walked away already. This person's telling you, don't leave me. We have student codependent then i say this person's codependent they're unable to manifest on their own they're unable to manifest on their own okay we have student and we have the page of swords which represents students so this person's studying you with student they're studying your every move who's trying to tap into your energy we have thick build we have artists chubby cheeks cute so this person could be good looking cute you know chubby cheeks they may have chubby cheeks or you have chubby cheeks let's get one more artists this person could be artistic but their art is like don't leave me wow don't leave it came out twice yeah this person doesn't want you to leave them or like but you i feel like you already blocked them we have wow this person could be a childhood friend this person could be a capricorn or you could be the capricorn here let's get one more leo this person could be a leo okay so this person is telling you not to leave them okay i feel like you're leaving them behind but you already have because the eight of cups is here so you already walked away from this connection it could be like i said a childhood friend this person is trying to tap into your energy, like I said, because they can't manifest on their own. They're really trying to manifest off your energy. So let's go. We're going to find out a little bit more with my initials of who this person might be, just for confirmation. Who's trying to tap into your energy? Who's trying to tap into your energy? So we have J, D, X, A, U, S, K, J, G, L, L, D, J, E, U, K, E, 
A, V, R, W, V, U, F, uh, Z, O, V, L, L, C. So LLC, so this person may have a business, like I said. Um, N, J, C, W, X, K, and H. Okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye!